Can you read this number? It's 100 quadrillion. That's how many calculations China's new supercomputer, the Sunway Taihu Light, can perform in just one second. This accomplishment was rewarded in 2016 with the Gordon Bell Prize, dubbed the Nobel Prize in Global Computer Science. In second place, another Chinese computer, the Tianhe 2, which placed first in the previous year. Until now, Chinese manufactured supercomputers have placed first for three years in a row. And in the list of the top 500 most powerful computers in the world, more than one-third come from China. But the Sunway's dazzling speed is not just a party trick. It has benefits for humanity, even life-saving ones. For example, it can detect and warn of an oncoming tsunami 10 to 20 minutes ahead of time and produce 100 years of Earth climate simulation in 30 days. In the words of Motowaki Saito, founder of Japanese semiconductor company PEZY Computing, China is producing the equivalent of F1 racing cars in the computing field, compared to the mere high-end cars produced by the US and Japan. But is China's computing industry resting on its laurels? Far from it. Now in the pipeline is the next generation Sunway E-Class, which is expected to be eight times faster than even Taihu Light. We're talking something in the order of one quintillion calculations per second. Sounds like it's burning. No worries, it will be equipped with a highly efficient water cooling system. But it's not just in computing that China is flirting with the infinite. More high-tech gadgets are still on the way. Also in 2016, China completed the world's largest single-dish radio telescope, known as FAST, which stands for 500-meter aperture spherical telescope. It is like a huge and sensitive ear catching the sound from distant stars. The 500 meters refers to the telescope's diameter, which is as large as 30 soccer fields, 150 meters longer than that of the Arecibo Observatory in the U.S., which was the largest one before. In 2016, this big ear has received high-quality electromagnetic waves from a pulsar located about 1,351 light-years away. But this is not considered as far enough, as it is able to receive signals from 13.7 billion light-years away. Scientists are going to use this big ear to discover secrets hidden deeply in the space, such as observing dark matter and dark energy, looking for the first-generation celestial body, discovering neutron star black hole binary. It might even help us probe the birth of the universe, which could assist human beings in finding traces of aliens. Standing among the world's technological achievements of the past five years, China is the leader. According to the U.S.-based National Science Foundation, in its report, Science and Engineering Indicators, published in 2016, China has risen to second place worldwide in science research and study, compared to 10th place just a decade ago. These developments are mainly attributed to government support. Chinese President Xi Jinping has described this trajectory as progressing from made in China to intellectually manufactured in China, China Resolution, and China Standard. Science and technology are regarded as the cornerstone of a powerful nation, a foundation on which creative talents can build. In 2016, China spent more than 1.5 trillion yuan on scientific study and research, as much as the entire EU put together. While scientific research funding has stagnated in the US, Europe and Japan, China's input has been on the increase by 10% a year. In science and space fields, what other miracles is China expected to create in the future? Yes, that's actually why I'm here, to find a job here in China. Beijing, B-A-E-J-I-N-G, Beijing, it's a lovely city, so uh, I'd like to stay in China. You imagine China as a magic place, you know, like if everything is like feng shui and like mountains and water and... Mm, yeah, it is. It's, it's very different country-wise. I think you're kinder than your reputation. Yeah, very helpful. Yeah, it's a good country and you know... If you order something in your home, it's easily. In here in China, you can see a very modernized and very developed country.